No, no, a man, he can take care of you. That's how sex slavery starts. Okay, mom. Those people want young, beautiful females. You are both safe. You would be so lucky to fuck us, kid. Oh, no, I would be very unlucky. You're like melted candles. Sitting on the throne. You know, you really got to be careful out there trying to go on a vacation and you get kidnapped. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Snatch is directed by Jonathan Levine or Jonathan Levine. Please excuse me if I did not pronounce his name correctly. And this guy, I didn't look up his name or who directed this movie until after I saw it right before I'm about to do this review. And I was so surprised. I wish I would have gone in knowing who directed it before I went in to see it. Because Jonathan Devine has directed one of my most favorite movies of all time in the past recent years. In 2011 with 50-50 uh, with Seth Rogen and Jordan Gordon-Levitt. That movie is amazing. If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly recommend it. I cried at the end of that movie. A couple of years later, he also directed Warm Bodies, which I did not see. But everyone I talked to said it's good and you need to check it out. So that's going to be on my to-do list to see pretty soon. And he also did the Christmas movie that came out last year, the year before that, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt as well. And that was pretty funny too. And now we have Snatched. And this movie is about... Amy Schumer, she has a boyfriend and they break up and she has this non-refundable trip to Ecuador and she doesn't have anyone to go with so she has to take her mom. And when you're going on a vacation with, you know, where it's going to be romance and love all in the air and ex exotic locations, in most cases, your mother is the last person that you would want to go on a trip with, but she has no other choice and, you know, she just has to make the best of it. And I'll just go ahead and tell you guys now, this movie is funny. This is a surprise hit for me. I did like this movie a lot because my expectations were low, but even if your expectations were high, like my mother, who I want to go see this, I think you're going to have a great time and that's just because the characters and the surprise dynamic relationship between Amy Schumer's character and her mother played by Goldie Hawn and of course you know who she is and what makes this movie great is not just the relationship between Goldie Hawn and Amy Schumer's character because it's okay it's really just all the side characters that come in and out throughout the movie with all these comedic chops so you have Wanda Sykes and Joan Cusack who plays somebody named Barb and these two, two are hilarious. You don't know if they're platonic friends or you just don't know if they're lovers. And initially when they come in, you're kind of like, okay, why are we watching these characters? Why is the camera spending so much time on these guys? I really don't care. And they go away. Then another character will come in randomly out of nowhere and you're just sitting yourself, okay, why are we watching this character? What is the point? Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the kidnapping. Let's Let's get to the snatch and then you know once we get there that's when the film picks up and it's like boom out of nowhere this thing turns into a true adventure with just silly over-the-top jokes that you cannot help but to laugh at even if you try not to and what what's fascinating to me is all these side characters it's like they came in to fulfill a fantasy of acting that they never was able to fulfill before in the past I don't know if it was the writer, producer, or director, or all three of them combined just went to like Wanda Sykes and a, a number of a few characters and be like, hey, do you want a chance at this movie to where you can just come in and do whatever the F you want and just act silly? Yeah, we have our structure over here, but I'm just going to say action, and I want you to do you. And it really just seems like that. Just all, all, all these over-the-top silly jokes of people wanting to do this and wanting to do that. And I don't know why it just worked, and it's funny. If I had to give Snatched a rating out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Yes, an 8.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Snatch yet? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Guys, I want to go to the red carpet premiere of Marvel's Black Panther that comes out next year, February of 2018. Wherever the red carpet premiere is, I want to go. Is it a good chance I'll get there? Who knows? It's a long shot, but I'm going for it. So help me out by sharing this video 1,000 times. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. 
Since you're here on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get all the content that I have to provide. You can go to my website, check it out, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review of Snatched. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.